All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh by Shem Yahushai by Shem Kakwadash. All right, which is the Paleo Hebrew for the name of the Heavenly Father being Yahweh, and the name of His Son being Yahweh Shai. All right, the only names in which salvation could be obtained, whether you could receive that or not. All right, the letter J was brought about in the 16th century, so it simply couldn't have been uh, the name Jesus, whom the world ignorantly calls upon. All right, and he wasn't a Greek; he was a Hebrew. All right, and with that being said, man, you know, the book of Proverbs 15 and 16, as it's written, you know, examine your ways, man. All right, examine the ways that you walk in, okay? Proof check everything, man. Don't just believe in the things that you're told. All right, seek the truth yourself, man. And if the Spirit's dealing with you, then you're going to, uh, you're going to receive it, Okay. I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles at GMS Great Millstone, who are the elders of all of Israel today, whether you can receive that or not. And peace, love, blessings, and salutations to the elect of the house of Israel who are able to receive those things, man. All right. <coughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start off. As you can see, I got pulled up here. Uh, you know, these are basically the requirements that are needed if you want to uh, teach the Bible. All right, you want to get a degree to be a, a ordained minister or pastor or, you know, whatever, whatever the case might be, then these are the requirements needed, okay? You can't just simply just pick up the Bible and teach it here on the planet Earth, man. Going to Job 9 and 24, the wicked beareth rule, okay? So if the wicked beareth rule, then you're going to have to teach according to their standards, okay? So these are the requirements that you need, all right? Um... Before I grab that, let me grab uh, just one scripture real quick, man. All right. Let's uh, lock it. Going to the book of Acts. Chapter 4 and verse 13. It reads, Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled. And why is it saying that they were unlearned or ignorant? Okay, and the reason why is because, uh, you know, these, these men, they weren't, they weren't brought up, um, you know, in the, in the teachings or, you know, or, or being taught as a Pharisee or a Sadducee or, you know, they weren't brought up in the schools, okay, at, at around this time, okay, because they were, they, you know, they were fishermen, they were, you know, they were, they were taught, only taught the things that they knew, all right, so, you know, going into it, it says, they marveled and took knowledge of them that they had been with Yahweh Shai, okay, so these men, when they saw the boldness of them and they saw the breakdowns that they were, were breaking down, man, it's simply because the spirit was dealing with them because Yahweh Shai was dealing with these men and in turn they were able to break these these things down man all right they were able to stand out there boldly and uh teach the scriptures man and uh you know and that's and that's that's really it's just the power of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai Ba'ashim Rakakwadash man all right Rakakwadash the Holy Spirit Okay, being put upon these men. So these men didn't go to school. Okay, if these men were here today, they would uh, they wouldn't be uh, licensed uh, teachers or ministers. Okay, they 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 were they were simply taught by Yahweh Shai, man, and they received the Spirit by Yahweh Shai. Okay. So um, <clears throat> now let's see, according to the world, the requirements that are needed to uh, teach the Bible, man. Okay, uh, and this uh, going into it, this is uh, administration criteria. Okay, so everything we're about to go into is the administration criteria, the things that you need to be administered into uh, to teach the Bible. All right, it says um, it says areas of evaluation. As an applicant, you will be evaluated on the basis of. So before you even get into the school, you're going to be evaluated to see whether or not. You uh, could teach the Bible, okay? It says, uh, part one, your academic records, okay? So you need a background of uh, academic records, man. So you need, 
you know, if you were a high school dropout, then odds are you wouldn't be able to teach the Bible, man. Okay? If you, uh, you know, you, you, you would need a background of scholarships and, you know, whatever, whatever the case might be going on to two, it says the assessment of your references. So you would need to be referred. Okay. You would need to have men putting their name on the line for uh, you to be able to teach the Bible. Okay. Uh, part three, the extent of quality of involvement in Christian service and four, your apparent gifts and potential for placement into Christian, uh, Christian ministry. So really it's all about money, man. Okay. Your apparent gifts and potential for placement. Okay, that's what it's always been. And, you know, speaking on kind of a personal testimony, you know, because I was in and out of these churches for a time, you know, when uh, prior to coming into the truth, prior to the spirit, you know, causing me to start questioning things and, you know, basically seeking the truth and, and, and examining my ways. All right. Uh, you know, I, I remember one point I was in, in one of these churches and uh, the dude gets up and he pulls out a pie chart and he shows, you know, basically the, the percentage that you need to be given to the church. Okay? <laughs> and uh you know and, and the scriptures it tells you to give freely, man, but these people they tell you not to uh they tell you that the law is done away with, but then they tell you to give tithes. Okay? And the reason why is because it's all about money. That's why you're going to be evaluated to see if you could even teach the truth, to see what your apparent gifts could be. Okay? And your potential for placement into the Christian ministry. Okay? Now let's go on. It says requirements for admission. Okay, so now this is what you need to be to be administrated into it. Uh, we'll just start at one. It says, show evidence of saving faith in Hamashayak. Or, you know, I'll read it in, in their words. All right, show evidence in, re in saving faith in Christ. Are a proven, are of proven Christian character. Are endowed with appropriate spiritual gifts. And adhere to the community covenant and the following doctrines. Okay, so now it's showing you. All right, you, in order for you to be able to teach the Bible, you need to understand these doctrines. These are the doctrines you're going to be taught in, and these are the doctrines that you're going to teach. So like I said, man, the, you know, this is why, you know, all these different uh, Christian churches, you know, they, they come out. And if you're Christian, man, these, these are the things that you know. All right, because, because th this is what you're taught. Okay, because this is what those people are allowed to teach you. Okay, that's why they have a 501c3 charter system. They have to report what they're teaching. Okay, that's why uh, Acts 7 and 48 says the Most High doesn't dwell in temples made with hands, man. The word church simply means to call out. All right. Uh, let, let's go on. Let's see what the doctrines are. All right. It says the authority and inerrancy of Scripture, the Trinity. Okay, which we already know. You know, many of these things aren't even scriptural, man. The Trinity. If if the, if the Trinity was was the case, okay, which really we're we're all of one spirit, man, one body, but. You know, they're trying to go to the point where they say that, you know, the Heavenly Father and His Son are the same entity. If that's the case, then why does uh, Daniel, the seventh chapter, tell you that, you know, after all these things are fulfilled, after the kingdom is taken from Esau and given to uh, and given to the Most High, that the Son of Man, Yahweh Shai, okay, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, is going to come to him and the Heavenly Father is going to give him the kingdom. What, what is he going to be walking up to a mirror? I, I, you know, it's just, it's just, there's so many holes within these doctrines it's it's not even funny man and the reason why is because people don't ask questions man because the spirit's not dealing with them okay verse three it says or uh verse three it says uh part three it says christ's full deity and humanity this is so basically saying you know that that he's the most high you know which uh which uh you know he's he's basically the word and the will of the most high man that's who we call upon all right you can't just go straight to the heavenly father okay Hamashiach is our power, man. That's who we call upon. Okay, without him, then there would be no elect. There would be no... The spirit wouldn't be upon men at all, man. We would all be put to death. Okay, uh, part four, it says, the spiritual lostness of the human race, part five, which, you know, that's kind of funny that that's there because you don't ever hear them talking about, you know, talking about, uh, you know, some, some uh, James four and four, you know, that the friendship of the world is enmity against the most high. You don't ever hear them condemning the world, man. Because like I said, it's all about money. All right, part five, it says, Christ's substitutionary atonement and bodily resurrection. Uh, six, salvation by faith alone in, in Christ alone. 
and part seven, the physical return of Christ. Okay, so you see nothing about the Old Testament, man. Not not much about the prophecies. I mean, you see a little bit, but you know th this is why you know that the the Christian church is is dead, man. It's lost. Okay, completely foolish. Okay, because you have the Hebrew Israelites standing out there, man, actually bringing out prophecy, actually bringing these things out. All right, but that's enough on this, man. Let's go ahead. Let's get into some scriptures, man. Let's see what the Bible has to say about these things. Because we here, man, us Hebrew Israelites, man, especially us of GMS, man, we believe in the words of the Bible. We don't believe in, you know, no emotions or whatever the case might be. Let's go ahead and get into 1 Corinthians 1. And uh, let's see, we'll go down to verse uh, 27. It says, <clears throat> uh, con, con, uh, 1 and 27, it says, but... The heavenly father hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise okay so these things that we were just looking at here these these would be considered the wise oh i got a bachelor degree i got this degree i got that degree so the most high chose the foolish things to confuse the wise uh to confound the wise man and that's what you're seeing man these people that <laughs> have been brought up with all these different degrees and you know went to college to be able to teach the bible the spirit's not dealing with them man that's why when they come out there they get confounded all right uh going on it says and the heavenly father hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty right the weak things of the world this reminds me of jeremiah man because when when the holy spirit's put upon you when that word put in your mouth all right you you're, you're set up to tear down uh these different strongholds okay this is jeremiah 1 and uh verse 5 it says before i formed thee in the valley i knew thee and before thou camest forth out of the womb I sanctify thee and ordain thee a prophet unto the nation. So it's not because he went to school and obtained some kind of degree. Okay, this is why when you see uh, when when you see them uh, uh, marrying people, okay, you have to you have to have that degree to marry a man and a woman. And what do they say? They don't say the power vested in the heavenly Father or Yahweh by Shimei Shai. By no means do they say that. They say by the power vested in me by the state of Colorado or whatever where whatever state you're in. All right. <laughs> Because no power was was ordained by the Heavenly Father within these people, man. All right, you had to be chosen by the Heavenly Father. It's just that simple, man. I, I don't see how people can't see this. All right? Well, actually, I can't, and it's just because the Spirit ain't dealing with them, man. Uh, verse 6, it says, um, I'm just, I'm just going to go on. I'm gonna, I just want to hit the main point, man, just to keep it, uh, you know, i got to get into work soon. Um, yep, yep, yep. Verse 9, it says, Then... The heavenly father all right yahweh put forth his hand when you see the word lord in all caps that word goes back to yahweh and it says and touch my mouth and yahweh said unto me behold i have put my words in thy mouth uh, verse 10 see i have this day set thee over the nations and over kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down to build and to plant okay so so the weak things to confound the mighty okay esau is being uprooted man Esau is being taken down by the words of the Heavenly Father, man. That's why you see all these different Edomites just bugging out, man, killing themselves. You know, they don't know what to do, man. Because the words of the Heavenly Father are more powerful than anything we could do in the flesh, man. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, going, going on 1 Corinthians 1 and 28, it says, And the base things of the world and the things which are despised hath the Heavenly Father chosen, yeah, and the things which are not to bring to bring to naught the things that are okay so <clears throat> you know the, the the base thing the things which are despised who is that man that's the 12 tribes of israel man the so-called negro latino and native american and and you know they've been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth so if, if this thing's a faith man if you're able to understand this these words all right we have our seed throughout all different nations okay you may look like the heathen nations you may have been calling yourself by them but if you're able to understand these words man and these these words speak to your spirit Okay, then odds are you're an Israelite. Okay? It says, um, that no flesh may glory in his presence, but of him are ye in Hamashayak Yahawashai, who of power is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. Right? We got our wisdom from Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. All right. <clears throat> not 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 according to man's wisdom, not according to uh not not from from uh you know dts you know ministry school or whatever the case is okay going on it says uh 
It says, and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, that according as it is written, he that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord, right? Because <laughs> we ain't doing no glory within these schools, man. We're doing glory within Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. And that's it, okay? Now let's go on to the next chapter. Okay, because it continues on with it, you know, because the, 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 these scriptures, they were, they were only letters, man. They were never broken down into different chapters and verses, okay? Um, let's see, uh, 1 Corinthians 2. And I, brother, and when I came unto you, came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of the Heavenly Father. Right, so he didn't come with no excellency of speech or of, or of man's wisdom, okay, to declare this testimony. Okay, but going on to verse 2, it says, For I determined not to know anything among you, ex save or except Yahweh Shai Hamashayak and him crucified. Okay, so we came in the wisdom of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right, we didn't come with the wisdom of, of you know, th these different s seminary schools or, or whatever the case may be. We came with the wisdom of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, because if the spirits are dealing with you, man, you're, you're gonna you're gonna be uplifted and be able to understand these things and be able to teach. Okay, point blank, period, man. Like I said earlier, ask questions, man. Okay, no, you, you know, even 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 with this breakdown, man, go find yourself a different, uh, you know, different uh, uh breakdown on on criteria needed and compare it with these scriptures, man. Read the whole damn chapters if you want to. Okay, and if the spirits dealing with you, then you'll be able to break them down. Um verse 3 it says and i was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom but in demonstration of the spirit and of power all right so in demonstration of the spirit and of power whose power the power of yahweh bashim yahweh shai man not of man's wisdom not over here put you don't you don't see us over there posting degrees on the signs that we have up or you know even posting our names on them man only name you'll see on there is the 12 tribes of israel the names of uh you know you, you might see the breakdowns of the 18 nations all right or whatever the case might be but you ain't gonna see you know anybody glorifying themselves or or you know glorifying the you know wisdom that esau gave them <laughs> got a lot of israelites man they spend too much time trying to trying to gain wisdom in esau's sight Okay, well, oh, well, when you read this book, well, how does this book compare to the scriptures, man? The, the one true book is a scripture, okay? And, and, and if, it's, if it's not comparing to it, then you better get, the, get it the hell away from me, man. Okay? It says, uh, you know, that's a, the, the, it creates a perfect puppet of Esau Edom, man. All right, reminds me of that song, uh, I'm Your Puppet. <laughs> uh, going on, it says, um, verse 5. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but the power of the heavenly Father. Okay, so where did where did where do these people's faith lie, man? Hmm? Had to bring up the academic records. Okay, bring up the assessment of references. Okay, have to you gotta have that have that filthy lucre. Where where is it? Is it is it in in the wisdom of men or the power of the heavenly Father? Uh, you know, and, and, and just, just ask yourself that question, man. <laughs> uh, going on verse 6, it says, How be it, we speak wisdom, and, and you know, the, the, these men that are saying this, okay, these uh, uh, apostles, okay, who were once disciples, and they were got up and perceived as ignorant men. But who raised them up? All right, was it the wisdom of men? No, because they were perceived as ignorant men among the world. Going on, uh, uh, verse 6, Howbeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not wisdom of this world. So we know wisdom, man. There is no question about that. But not wisdom of this world, man. Okay? But of, of who? It says, Nor of the princes of this world that come to naught, but we speak the wisdom of the Heavenly Father in a mystery. Right? Parables. All right? Bro only the elect are able to break these things down, man. Okay? It's not spoken down, uh, spoken up for the whole world to receive it. Okay, that's why I said earlier. Well, actually, I do know how, you know, they can't get it is because because they they just can't. They don't have the keys, man. They don't have the spirit. Okay, even hidden wisdom. So you don't got those keys, man. You don't got that spirit. You ain't gonna you ain't gonna find it. All right, which the heavenly Father ordained before the world unto glory, which none of the princes of this world knew, for 
had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear hath heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which the heavenly Father has prepared for them that love him. All right. Going on, verse 10, we'll end it here. It says, But the heavenly Father hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of the heavenly Father. All right. So, with that, hey, man, we got our glory coming, man. All right. Just endure and continue pushing man okay this thing's for the elect all right and not for those who obtained uh you know riches or 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 glory or you know certain degrees within the eyes of men okay we're not looking for esau's approval we're looking for the approval of yahweh shim yashai man we're not even looking for the two-thirds approval all right if you got something to say about it then hey <laughs> Take it up with the Heavenly Father, man, because these ain't our words. I'm going to say, Call Allah, Yahweh, Ba Shem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba Shem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders and the apostles at GMS, Great Millstone, and peace, love, and salutations to the elect. Shalom.